Okay, let's do one more. That's great. Your co-writer Stuart uh, said that there's a, not a message about a gay, sort of a gay, a gay marriage message in the film that there is none. But I felt in the screening that there was a lot of opportunity to make sort of a social commentary. Um, was there ever a consideration about making a message movie out of this, or was it always just a personal tale? We personally weren't interested in seeing a movie that was more like a flag waving, you know, soapboxy movie. We wanted just something that could be really absorbing and not be political and not be politically correct and just have themes that were, you know, funny and heartbreaking and true and could relate to, you know, a lot of people. Um, do you think that the movie would have been received as well or if it would have turned out, the finished product would have turned out the same way had Nick and Jules been men? I think, you know, there is a, a gay male couple on this TV show, apparently, which I haven't seen, called Modern Family and oh, Raising yes. a Little Kid. Yeah, people love that show, so who knows? You know, I just know that we haven't seen, um, I think there have been those movies, actually. There was like, is it La Caja Fall about that? Yeah, 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 absolutely. you know, yeah, there's been a true. few of those. I don't think we've seen lesbians head in a household that's also and true. having teenage kids, so there's a real freshness to it. Um, do you think that Laser and Joni would have benefited from having a stable male influence in their lives? I think that it's always good to have, you know, people of both genders in your world, and the world of this film was very kind of myopic, so I hoped that people would see it and think, there's probably kind of cool men, relatives, friends, you know, there's other people that are in their life. It's not just, they're not living on an island with two moms. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Um, now Mia and uh, Josh both turned in fantastic performances here. I thought they were, they were very. They got into the characters. It was very deep. What were you looking for when you were casting the roles? I was looking for actors that just who had a real kind of freshness to them that were not um, familiar, you know, sort of spirits. And Mia's from Australia and has, a, you know, obviously a different cultural orientation. And Josh is from Kansas, not Kansas, Kentucky. And um, I think he brings some of that with him. Uh, it's, it's kind of an unpretentiousness that I really, I really like about both of them.